Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a super, super, super califragilistic expialidocious video. And what is that? Uh, I don't know. You never <laughs> told me the video. What we're doing. I don't even know what we're doing. You just told me to film with you. We're doing a touch my body challenge. Ooh. I like <laughs> just those. kidding. We're doing a house QA. For those of you who don't know, which is probably all of you, we recently found a house that we are in the process of buying, and I realize we've never talked about what we want in a house, though I thought, though I thought, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. Perfect. First question is by OK Baby Fanboy. Would you rather live in a good house in a bad neighbor house, neighborhood or a bad house in a good neighborhood? I'd rather live in a bad house in a good neighborhood because I'd rather have like no crime around me. Well, not like none, but like very little crime around me and have it safe for my kids. Yeah, probably. Same. Next question is by Oscars Cheerios. Do you think you'll stay in this house that you're buying soon forever or at least for a really long time? At least, I, I'm hoping for a minimum two years, but I'm hoping five years and then, but probably more like six or seven. Okay, maybe. I'm thinking 20. <laughs> I love the no, house that what's... we're in the process of buying right now. I am, it's like a dream house. So I really plan on staying there for a long time. I think what Oscar means is he would like to eventually like do get more into real estate like later, later in the future and like sell it and buy a nicer house or like something like that. I don't know. Is that No, right? I just know us. We're going to move. We love We to do move. get over things very quickly, but I don't know. This is like a dream house, guys. No, it like is, when definitely. you see it, it's it's amazing. So I would like the kids to grow up there. I think it's perfect. And it there's a really good school district around here and stuff like that. Next question is by at Bug Buddy. I know these are all fan pages, but it's I know these are all fan pages, but that's usually just the people that respond. So it's not like I'm favoring fan pages or anything like that. It's just that's usually who I get responses from. I've gotten asked that a lot. Um, at Bug Buddy says, would you ever consider buying a house in Florida would you, when you visit? Everyone says this when we go to Florida, like buy a house, buy a house, buy a house there. If we were rich, of course I would. Yeah, of course. But. We'd buy one in Montana and California and there, but it's just honestly like it's a place to visit and we love Karen and Qua, like obviously, but I don't think we would like to live there. Like it's no, just yeah. not the place we would like Bruh. to live. Yeah. At FFS Catherine underscore, what was a main ah. feature when you were looking for your house? A big backyard? Yard, lots of rooms. For me, um, a playroom was like essential. Oscar thinks that's so stupid, but I wanted an extra room for a playroom, and the kitchen was a big thing to me. I like really wanted a nice kitchen. So every time I was walking into these houses, I was like, "Let me see the kitchen." Uh, something for me was the character. I like. I, I was looking for something that had like my style, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think. Something that I felt like I would create if I constructed a house. Yeah, or that's like different, you know, mm -hmm. not just like white walls and the same thing. We wanted yeah, a little exactly. bit more like unique looking of a house. I think also a lot of rooms just because of the kids. Yeah, we definitely wanted. Or enough rooms, not a lot of rooms, enough rooms. Yeah, we wanted to know this house that we're in the process of buying has a little more than we need, but it's like yeah. obviously that's good. But we were actually looking for a four to five bedroom. That was like our goal. As far as the big backyard, a backyard was essential, not necessarily the size of it. Like, I don't Just something. So, yeah. Big enough so that Levi could run and so that we could have a dog. Yeah. But it didn't matter how big. Next question is by at Rhiannon HG underscore H. Will you be keeping your current furniture or are you going for a whole new look? So we, we don't know. Yeah, we don't really know. I love neutrals. I love gray. I I just don't think we do a very good job at decorating. So another question we got asked a lot was, will we be decorating ourselves or will we have an interior designer? Interior designer all the way. We suck. Yeah, we know. When we decided we wanted to buy a house, we knew like we want to have enough money to also get an interior designer. Um, not for every room I think I would like to do the kids room but for the master for the living room and like a little bit of organization in the kitchen we're gonna get like someone to help or people to help with that and for storage yeah so um, we definitely want to do, do those specific rooms but I think the bedrooms for the kids those change so often because they're like babies then toddlers yeah. then you know they change their style so much I don't really want to like invest the money in something that's gonna change in a few months yeah. <laughs> next question is by stop Allison is picking out a house easier or harder than you imagined it to be yeah I feel like we we knew what we wanted kind of from the beginning like we went into it knowing exactly what we wanted there was one point though where I told Oscar you know we had seen a few houses and I was like these are all beautiful like how do I know which one I really like and then when we saw this one we were like oh yeah we knew. yeah we knew I, I, I have to disagree with you though I don't think I knew what I wanted I was just kind of looking to see and I was I thought I was gonna be very picky like this is what I want this is what I need yeah but when we found one that we really liked at the price we wanted we were, I was just like oh yeah this is yeah it. This is a yeah good one. I think I knew what I wanted just because like 
I don't know. I guess maybe just because I like those things I, d I want really specific things where I think for him it's just like I just want like a nice house like he doesn't really know what that means to him so also like the response Kira or Kiara says she said that it's a crazy market here in Utah right now so I'm sure it's been crazy that part was hard for us because the second we decided we kind of liked a house we, we had, had to, to basically like say yeah we yeah, want we had to it put an offer, so that was hard because we were like oh are we sure yeah because houses are going here within days sorry for the lighting I know it's going in and out oh. but the joys oh, of filming geez. outside, and she's getting mad. Hi, baby. Next question is by Art. Already, oh my, the sun is like Ooh, it's lasting. Hot. After it's moving, hot. do you think Levi will be comfortable and open to the new place? I think so because we travel so often that he's kind of used to like sleeping everywhere and being everywhere. So I think at first it'll maybe be a little bit of an adjustment, like sleeping in his own room, like kind of far away from where we're sleeping. Maybe, I don't know, I feel like maybe I don't care about that, not him, but I think he'll do good. At Sarah underscore Kalemba. Um, do you and Oscar have the same taste in house decor, color, styles, or does Oscar just let you pick everything out? Love you. I wish he let me pick everything out. We have complete opposite styles and he wants his and I want mine. So that's another reason we want an interior designer. The only thing about the interior designer thing is I've contacted a lot of companies and they all can't do it until like September or after because it's summer so a lot of people are moving I'm assuming. But it just kind of sucks because we're gonna have to go like a good amount of months without like- That might be good though because then we could save up. Oh, oh, almost Yeah, we can like baby. save more money and like have more of what we want. Um, at Charlie Taylor Zero said, do you want a pool in your backyard? This was also a very commonly asked question. No. No, we do not because we live in Utah. We'd only be able to use it about two months out of the year and it's a lot of maintenance to only use for two months out of the year and it would take up a lot of space to only use two months out of the year. However, I do really want to get a jacuzzi somehow. The backyard isn't really a layout to put a jacuzzi, but yeah. one day maybe we'll add or something like that. Um, next question is by Iranita. Do you think you'll ever get a pet besides the fish after moving? Maybe a dog or a cat? So I'm sure you guys no. have hear, heard us say we really, really, really wanted a dog. But now Oscar's really changed his mind and I kind of understand why. Just, we don't, I'm not going to clean up the dog poop. There's no way. I know Oscar oh, really won't. Good. No, that's not the problem. The problem is I don't want another responsibility. I don't want, I feel like with our, with the kids already, we have, I have too much and then I, there's things I want to do that I can't with because of our kids, which is fine, but I don't want to sacrifice things for a dog now. No, 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 I know, but what I'm, all I'm saying is like, picking up the poop is a big part. If Levi needs to go in the backyard, the poop has to be cleaned, and I'm not going to go out there every morning. I don't care if that sounds bougie. I'm being honest and realistic with myself. That is pretty much it for this awkward Q&A that I had to do with Oscar. Oh, mini bugs getting grumpy, so it's perfect. Anyways, I'm sorry about the lighting and the background sound. I've never filmed a video outside, so this could be horrific, mm -hmm. but I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any more questions, leave them down below, and I will comment back to you guys. Um, another thing is that I got a lot is when are we moving? We're supposed to move in a week and a half. We'll see if that is actually accurate and how long it really is supposed to take, but hopefully a week and a half. But that's pretty much it. We hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye!